much, but I've been in business for 16 years, has not been easy, but I managed to keep my doors open for 16 years. Uh, a large part of my business is made up of services, them being pet sitting, pet walking services. I take care of, I service 300 families in the area. I walk 200 dogs a week. Wow. So needless to say, and I hate to have oh this conversation God. while you're eating, I pick up a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had a nickel for every time I got it on my hands, I wouldn't be here right now, I'd be rich already. Yeah. So I said, there has to be a better way. This, you know, this is ridiculous bending and, and struggling and trying to get, and, and listening to the neighbors, which I don't blame them, you're not getting it all up, it's still there. I'm really? picking it up, no you're not. And they're right, and they're arguing not. with you? Oh God, yeah, yeah. So that, you know, we're talking in town, it's got million dollar homes, and they've got, they've spent that much on their lawn, and you can't blame them. And unfortunately, dogs like to go on the grass. You can try it all you can on a curb, but it's not going to happen. They like to go on the grass. And it's almost an impossibility to get it all up. So that's when I said, well, there's gotta be a better way to uh, develop catch it. With the catch it, we will not have to see smell or touch the pest waste. It's environmentally friendly because the waste never touches the ground, and it's got a light. Very lightweight. When the dog is ready to eliminate, you just pull the lever open and you catch it. When the dog is finished, oh my gosh, it goes. This right now. <laughs> now you've got a dog that eliminates several times on a walk, same bag. You've got a couple of dogs, same bag. When you're finished and you're home, you just take the strings and as you're pulling the bag off, it's closing, comes off. You don't see, smell, or touch the pet's waist. Wow. Now are you selling these already? I am. I'm selling them online. Right now I've got the patent, I've got the trademark, I've got the, the manufacturing is all in place. I need to get to the next level. I need someone to be a partner with me or someone to that Stop. has the Guys, this is not the Angel Investor Room. This is Oh I, I did right. Yeah, okay. I went there already, yeah. Okay. But that's where I'm at right now. Does anyone else want to Awesome. I'm just curious. So you have to your timing has to be <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? And it, it's not a problem. And it, again I'm sorry while you're eating. No, but when a dog is ready to eliminate they're actually, their pet's <laughs> rectum starts to go open. <laughs> so, and you know your pets. I walk 200 dogs a week, and I know and every one of them are ready to go. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? I know. And yeah. some of them go up against a, a gate, you know, so you're, you know, it's very easy to maneuver. And the dog, I, have a, I have a lost coordinated leg there about this day. Right. So I'm yeah. thinking, how am I going to get it? Right. <laughs> and you know what? It's not going to be for all the dogs. Right. Just like there's no, no one product out there that's for everybody. But there's six, uh, 71 million pets in this country, and it's a, a six billion dollar industry. It's for a lot of them. Ninety percent of the dogs I walk, I walk with this. Wow. And, um, and somebody said, how do, you, how do you, you know, how do you get the dog to do it? You're not getting the dog to do anything except boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're the one that's maneuvering it, and you're the one that's, you know, they doing it to the world. Does anyone else sell that product? Oh, it's mine. Yeah. Totally mine. It's on, it's on sale online for a couple of other retailers. But as I said, right now I just need to take it to the next level. I'm a little store in Morristown, mm -hmm. and um, nobody knows me. There's tons of websites out there, you know, and um, <laughs> and so that, again, that's where. Have I'm you in. presented this to any of your pet stores? And I have, and you know what I've been told? Uh, United Pet Group, a very big uh, pet group, they've already invested uh, licensing agreements and um, and um, uh, made commitments, invested money, and. Uh, this would blow their commitments out of the water, so they can't jump on this right now because they've got commitments to those people that they promised they'd sell their product. What's the retail on that? Uh, I, I, I is a small pet store, twenty nine ninety five. It can go as low as nineteen ninety five. And online, twenty nine ninety five, thirty sure. free bags. Have and you, you had the, you sell the bags separately. You, you yes. had those custom made as well. Yeah, they're biodegradable. And uh, where's your store again? Right on South Street, Morristown, uh, New Jersey. Here. At the Elephant Nose Pet Center. Okay. Hmm. Have you talked to Pet Safe? Pet Safe? No. No. I know the CEO. You want to okay. have your card, right? Oh, you That's have my card, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give you mine as well. Okay. Okay. Great. There's also a pet conference every year. It's just going to be a good place to go because all the pet editors show up there mm -hmm. and the uh, veterinarian. Yeah. I did take it to New York City. In fact, that was my first stop when I got my prototype. And needless to say, the country jungle up there. You know, because they've got a major pet problem. Uh, you go to dog shows and stuff? I do. Yeah, I've been, I, I, in fact, I've gotten an award, uh, and I should say that, and I always forget. Uh, the Royal Pet Association has awarded me with the, uh, 
the Outstanding Pet Services Award. Mm -hmm. So, um, would you do the demonstration I'm one more time? I'm obsessed with this issue. Okay. Yeah. I live in Brooklyn. Oh, that New York City loved it. Yeah, the city loved it. Yeah. I, I would really like yeah, to see our work. I've been thinking about eliminate. the better yeah. Cooper's keeper for years, but I've yeah. never come and, up and with And that's the other thing. This is the only, this, there can never ever be not another one like this. This is it, because of, of my patent is so broad. The life can never ever be, the no, catchings no. part, yeah. part of it can never ever be. What but, about the, the pet store in Lafayette oh. Village? They have a specialty pet store up there. I forget the name, I'll have to get yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of the smaller pet stores are, are interested in carrying a couple of them. My problem is China wants me to uh, order 2,000 units. Well, I've got to have a game plan. Where am I going to put them? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, before I can, uh, you know, I've got orders pending. Well, what's your rate of general market? Uh, it, it's uh, about 100 right now. I'm, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm at the infancy of it. You know, I'm just starting this part of it. It's a crazy QVC? QVC loved it, yeah. but um, their pet segment just isn't there yet. I think um, PetSmart would jump all over it. PetSmart wouldn't be, but they've already got commitments. They've got their own oh. stuff. Yeah, you know. But at any rate, I can I can show it to you. When your dog, it's very light to maneuver. Mm -hmm. When your dog is ready to eliminate, you just open it and you catch it. It's got a light for evening walks. And can you put it flat on the ground? Oh sure. Well, you, you can do my dog. Really yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please tell it. And you could use the same bag each. You know, for, for the whole walk. I've got a couple of dogs. They can poop in the same bag. Yeah. Sorry while you're eating, but yeah. And then when, the, when you're ready to, to, when you're all done, you're home, uh, you just take the strings and pull the bag off. And as you can see, it's closing. So once the bag comes totally off, it's totally closed, and you just drop it in the garbage. Right. <laughs> so you don't see, smell, or touch the pet toys. It's a lot less humiliating than walking with a bag of poop in your hand. Well, that's it. You can finally walk your over, dog right? with the bending over Not to mention those people that are going to business. That's why I don't want a dog. They're dressed. They're they're dressed. Really they don't want to start bending and yeah, it's a, it, you know, people have called it gadgety, boutique-y. Oh, the other part is what we're going to do. We're going to put rhinestones for those frilly dogs. Yeah. Because the owners want it to match their, you know, right. their yeah. personalities in their dogs. Yeah, the color. Uh, crossbones with a skull for those rugged <laughs> dogs, those big guys. And in between, little doggy biscuits. Very cute. Yeah, so so it's got a long shelf life, you know, in terms of, and, and it's it's we tr we're trying to make it. When I said boutique, that's what made me think. Uh, we're trying to make it to fit the animal, the pet. I'm in the business for 16 years. I know pets better than I know people, and uh, and they have their own personality. So we, we, I tried to not only develop a product that was, you know, in need. There's a need for it. Something that was also uh, fun for the uh, for the owner to carry, and you know, 